one of the questions you get when you're a kid is, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I never really had a strong answer to that when I was a kid, but I always was curious and I was always open to new opportunities and recognizing you don't have to wait around for something to happen. You can just take the initiative and do it yourself. During my PhD, I started to be interested in renewable materials, in particular in applications like textiles, and it was not too far of a jump for me to go to paper. It's been known for a long time that silver ions will be antimicrobial. That part wasn't new, it's just the idea of using silver nanoparticles as kind of a reservoir for silver ions to be released slowly over time. Some of the challenges of transitioning from being a research scientist to being an entrepreneur and a business owner is learning all these new things all the time. I still had to figure out how to go from making a few of these uh, every so often to making thousands of papers. And it's not a new technology, but adding silver nanoparticles literally on the paper machine was something that we've been able to achieve as a company. When I was a postdoc at the University of Virginia, I was doing research related to this project in South Africa in Limpopo province, and I was testing water sources there that were known to be contaminated. And the results were that it killed the majority of the bacteria in those samples. We were just like, okay, this actually could be something real, not just a lab curiosity. I was really intrigued by this whole concept that as I learned later, it was called human-centered design, which is a jargon term for saying that you talk to your customer and you find out what they want and try to design something that fits into what is already in their everyday households. We started to make the design that we called it Tacita now, which is the Spanish name for little cup. That can score onto a two liter soda bottle, so it's appropriate to many different places. We are trying to make an impact. That is one of the things that we really want as a company to move forward with is not just to make this really cool product, but also to help improve people's lives. The common trait amongst all of us is that we really are doing something that we feel motivated about. It's just, you know, feeling like you have a reason to get up in the morning is another thing that people say, and it's exciting, it's challenging, it has, you know, good effects for the world. It's like all these things coming together to really get I think not just me, but our whole team motivated.